today I'm going to show you guys how to safely remove a virus or viruses from your computer on XP. Um, first and foremost, it, I recommend that you create a restore point. And um, you can go ahead and just go to the control panel and do that. Um, first, I like going to your window task manager. So you can go ahead and press control alt delete. And then here at, uh, on the task manager, go to the process tab and sort uh, these services by by the image name. Um, I do this often so I know what should be running here and what shouldn't. But um, say for instance I don't want Firefox to be running and it shouldn't be running. Uh, I'd go ahead and press end process and yes to terminate it. Um, if you're not sure what uh, what shouldn't be running here, uh, go ahead and Google these these names, and it'll tell you why it's here and and if you should disable it or not. Um, if there's uh, names that look funny, like with dollar symbols and percentage signs, uh, most likely I shouldn't be on there. So next, um, I want to go ahead and go to your uh, uh, your MS Config. So you go to Start, Run and here type in MS config press enter and this is um, this would be like a system configuration utility and then go ahead and go to the startup tab all the way at the end here are all the programs that start when your computer starts um, say for instance these four programs I know what they are and I, I don't mind them running when the computer starts so I'll just leave them checked but say for instance this one that's blank um, you obviously know that this is this is pretty weird for it to be this way so um, that that's gonna be a virus so you go ahead and uncheck it but say uh, this one I mean I don't know what that is so I googled it and I found out that this was a virus um, I don't want a virus uh, start up every time my computer starts so I uncheck that um, unfortunately I can't delete this straight from here but I could block it from starting up here and also in other places for my computer so I went ahead and unchecked that uh, press apply and then close um, you always have to restart uh, after you make changes to your configuration but you could restart later so I'm just going to do that um, after that I want to go to your registry so you go to start run and then registry edit REGEDIT here in your registry editor um, there are certain folders that you go to to see what exactly is running and it's up to you if you want to stop it from running and, and delete it so you go ahead and go to current version expand that software Microsoft Windows current version and then run. So this is what's running um, every time my computer starts up at the moment. Well, it, it, it's actually going to start up every single time now. If I wanted to delete it, I just press delete, right click, delete. Um, like I said, if it's dollar symbols, percentage symbols here, and it looks a little bit um, fishy, for lack of a better word, uh, go ahead and delete that. Um, if this is empty and just this right here is is here and there's there's no name, uh, that that's something that shouldn't be there. So go ahead and delete that. But like I said before, if you're not sure, go to Google and Google these things and find out what they are, and and why they're there. Uh, the next folder would be the Run Once folder. Um, check here if there's something that shouldn't be here. Delete it. Uh, these all these programs are starting up when your computer runs. So this is a perfect advantage for 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 a virus um, for, for somewhere a virus could be in um, the next one would be your local machine go to software Microsoft Windows current version and then run again um, here these programs are going to start up next time my computer starts up um, they start up regular I mean regularly I, I I like my antivirus software to start up all the time um, this is my sound card 
and this right here is since I went to the configuration and I put uh, start up um, uh, restart later this is gonna come up next time when I, when my computer starts up again it's gonna say uh, you may change this to your configuration so I could just leave that I mean I, I don't mind uh, the next folder run once there's nothing here if there was something here delete it if it shouldn't be there run once ex same thing here double check what what it means why it's there and delete it if it shouldn't be there um, so you go ahead and exit that um, the next folders I, I want you guys to check out are in your C drive so go to start my computer and here um, I want you guys uh, show your hidden files so go to tools folders view and then click on show hidden files press apply and then OK um, viruses tend to hide anywhere so what better place to hide than a hidden file uh, go to um, your C drive documents and settings see this is a hidden file it looks a lot lighter than this one so that's a hidden file so documents and settings owner and then local settings if you notice this is a hidden file so go to local settings here in your local settings there's two folders temp and temporary internet files they're both temporary files so here these are all temporary files everything in here you could delete I'm, I'm not gonna be able to delete these things because I have Camtasia running right now and it's not gonna delete because it's running at the moment but as soon as I turn it off I'll, I'll be I'll make sure to delete this stuff um, the next file would be temporary internet files they're exactly what it says temporary internet files everything that's here you could delete it there could be thousands of files but delete it because you don't need that um, but it could be a virus and you don't know just everything that's here and everything that was in a previous folder delete everything um, the next one that I, I want to show you guys is uh, your windows folder and it would be it would be uh, your C drive windows there's two folders prefetch and temp you go to uh, go to prefetch first um, here in your prefetch folder uh, there there's always stuff in here it's up to you if you want to delete it or not some people do some people don't personally I delete everything that's in here because one I don't want to risk having a uh, um, a virus here, and I also don't want want this stuff to be slowing down my computer if it's not necessary. So delete everything that's in there if you want. Um, and the next one is a temporary file. There's a temporary file. Everything that's in here is temporary. You don't need it. It could be a a virus, and it definitely slows down your computer. Um, the first time I I started doing this there was like thousands of things and I'm like I, I wasn't sure if if I should delete that stuff because there's so many files but I do this all the time now uh, I usually uh, leave my computer running for several days but even even when I turn it off I turn it back on I just check all these things like in order uh, make sure everything's everything's clear and then I also run my uh, antivirus software and and ju just to double check because you can never be too too safe right I guess um, and that's really about it uh, every time you do this stuff um, empty your recycle bin when you delete things uh, you could just right click it and then empty recycle bin uh, yes you want to delete these items and then when you do when you do that then just go ahead and restart the computer restart restart fresh and and then I mean you're good to go uh, ha this has been a video from the world is mine thank you for watching and leave some feedback